Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I've decided to take Raikuda. And let me explain myself before you all start commenting. First thing Raikuda can do is in fact Duelist Advance, which means we need to do this. First thing Raikuda will be able to do is this Duelist Advance. Which puts everyone in the right position. Duelist Advance can hit the back. Nothing else can, except for ones we may or may not activate. But it activates Repost. Now the reason that's important is that we're going to have Megistos protecting one person and if the other person happens to be Raikuda then I'm hoping that that will activate Riposte and cause Raikuda to get a free attack on the boss. Meanwhile, we can use Point Blank Shot to move back. Uh, we can use Pistol Shot to just do any damage at all whilst we're still here. An Open Vein will be useful once Point Blank Shot has started doing damage to the pews and we want to actually destroy the pews because we can sell the the parts that we drop at the end of the boss plus Raikuda is going to be really good as DPS to get us through to the boss in the first place now let's check everybody's stress small smallish none none good now it's not ideal you know only two of us are level four but it does mean that we're going to want to spend as much money as we can or at least as much money as seems sensible making sure that all these units are going to have a good amount of damage on the things that we intend to use to do this. It's basically these three for that unit. Oh, no, no, click. Yeah. Might use this. Sure, we should. We're not going to use Illumination because we have to be in the wrong position. And then level four units is going to be Pete, which we already upgraded in preparation recently, so I'm happy with this. And Megistos. Yeah, I mean, again, we have the... Um, there's a repost. Where's repost? This one. Retribution. We could always activate retribution in between the rocks falling on us. And then we guard somebody and then we get retribution. We get repost from the thing you know, falling on us, hopefully. That's how I'm anticipating that working. Again, we could run away from this one or indeed lose somebody. Let's have a look in the stagecoach. We have a new occultist, which is pretty nice. But again... As with previously, I'm holding out for a Vestal. Am I holding out for a Vestal? No. No, no, no. We will take an Occultist. To fight the Abyss, one must know it. And again, don't forget, as people start dying, I'm not too upset with actually getting rid of people. All these named people I'm going to maintain. Especially since I've gone to the effort of actually naming them after subscribers. Um, but... I'm not going to name all these people. I'm going to start scumming it up to try and get some more money and try and advance this thing because I'm getting a little bit tired of doing tiny little run, run away, you know, tiny little run, get some money. Oh, did we get enough? Not quite. We need to get this thing, we need to get this bandwagon rolling and uh, that seems like the best way of doing it. Whew, right. Everyone's upgraded. Let's check this though. I keep right clicking. It's left click. Uh, I <laughs> don't like it. Uh, it's far too expensive now. I mean, everyone's upgraded mostly. A couple of people could benefit from some more, and we could probably sell some of these, but honestly, I think maybe we just don't. I'll get rid of this. I mean, many of these are so useful to have two of. The, the damage to X. We don't tend to use two of these, though. That's given us 5,000. Maybe we can afford to give Raikuda a bit more damage. I think that'd be worthwhile. We are basically relying on Raikuda's damage to a great extent, at least at the start of the boss fight. And we do have Holmesy. Holmesy's going to keep us all alive, right? Okay, so let's check our trinkets. We'll bring them all back, even though... That may not be the best thing to do. We'll take our character class restriction thing here. We'll make sure that... I mean, I might give you the two eye patch things again, which means you can't see at all. More stun resist, more dodge. Ah. This one seems like a great idea because we will be using Megistos as a tank. Uh, which, I mean, you started it. <laughs> it's your job, so deal with it. More heals received is actually probably very useful. Because if we're going to get him to use guard against any other unit we're going to want to sort of heal him back up to get the best out of that uh more dodge more death blow resist could be good let's have a look at our 
class trinkets first. More accuracy on, uh, less accuracy on range skills is not what we want. Stacking up some dodge could be a great way of tanking some of the drops from the boss, but after a couple of those, we're not going to be worrying about it because we're going to be doing no damage anyway. Possibly. Probably that, especially for the boss, because it's going to be a while before the boss is in melee range. Uh, I don't know if I want to do something that makes it worse when we stress out. So we should avoid that. Maybe try the quick draw charm again. It's possibly useful. It has been really useful for any unit that needs to sort of start proceedings. I think I will continue to do so, because getting that riposte off properly quickly and doing some damage early on, getting the units all in the position we want them to be in, all of those is a great idea. Now for this unit, we want to make sure that the debuffs work. You've only got two bad things as well. Uh, so a massive debuff skill chance here is certainly going to help against the boss, especially just in case you know the boss has uh, a debuff resistance that I wasn't expecting. Less virtue chance I'm happy with. And basically that's an excellent, excellent trinket. Crit versus Eldritch. Is the boss Eldritch? Let's do my googling while playing trick. Uh, it's unholy. Interesting. Or dodge. Could also be very good if we can't get out of the way in time. Or we could just find damage versus unholy. Less stress damage. Possibly useful. Damage versus unholy. Unholy. Do we have an unholy ring? We've got everything else. Eldritch, human. Is it a ring? I don't know. Only Eldritch, human. Surely we must have one, especially if we're a, a cultist. Do you not just have damage versus unholy anyway? Man, how have we managed this? Although you might be at the back. So we could just give you extra damage, just in general. Hmm. Blight, not really useful. More bleeds. Mm. More accuracy in position 4. Low torch. Um. I don't. I really don't know what to give this unit. We're not going to be doing this, which is the thing. In fact, we definitely want to make sure our debuff skill is as high as possible. More max HP, more dodge, and less accuracy. That's not going to be very good. We don't want this unit to be missing at all. More stress, more damage, more speed. Maybe we could just give him an accuracy, give him an accuracy um, upgrade somehow. What do we have? More dodge. I don't think there's anything Eldritch in the ruins, at least not worth speaking of. Man, this is actually turning out to be a really difficult decision. What do we give this unit? More speed? Might be the, f might be the first time I've ever used Speedstone. Yeah. Less stress damage on that unit. Great idea. Because this unit is, of course, going to be taking the same pair of trinkets as ever. Less stress damage, more heals, less stun, less speed. It's fine. And more heals and less mass max HP. Finally, we have succeeded in giving our party what should be a trivial thing. I'll take extra food here because we saw in the last episode that having... Um, uh, we will take one, just in case. We saw in the last episode that not having enough food is not a good thing in the ruins because the ruins doesn't have many tables with food on. It's as many torches as we can have. Tempted to just not take that. Spend all our money on this. Hmm. Fuck it. This raving creature had to be silenced. But doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? I mean, we've heard it all before. The 
Again, ruins. Massive, massive journey to get to the boss. So this is what I was talking about in the last episode. It must be something to do with the possible layouts of the ruins. That we always get something which is such a slog to the boss. And this is why we've had such trouble with this particular boss. It was three rooms to get to the boss, I believe, in the Warrens or the Weald. Three. <laughs> it's just nothing compared to these. Let's check everyone's got the right set of things to start with. And don't forget, when we um, when we camp, before we go into the boss, we need to switch. I should write it in marker pen on my monitor. Just ignore the books. They could send us loopy. I don't really want to <laughs> anyone else to have any negative quirks or debuffs or anything horrible like that. We're doing alright on battles so far, though. There's just this one here. We did get a free torch, which super helps because we've got a long way to go. A fortune waiting to be spent. Can you not do that? Because I kind of want to see the trap. <laughs> 90, 70, 70, 60. I'm pretty sure that these have now been adjusted for the, the place you're in. Because previously you're trap likelihood would go up above 100% and then you'd be going, oh, 110%, I'm perfectly likely to finish this trap off. And then it turns out, nope, wrong. Right, well, I'm going to advance, activate repost and try and do as much damage to one of these as possible and hopefully crit. No crit. Fine, no, don't mind that. Uh, yeah, do that, sure. Nope, bad dodge. And we can expect a lot of stress from this encounter, which is... Kind of also fine, but not not fine at the same time. Abyssal artillery, artillery, there. Yeah. Might completely miss. That's exactly what I was going to say. Perfect. I mean, having that much stress already is a bad thing. We've got to get through this entire place. And I was talking about getting um the jester in on this to give us stress heals, and I didn't realise, but I think that actually might have been the option that we went for. I mean, maybe it should have been, is what I'm suggesting. Um, hit something. 6 to 13. Fuck me. This is going to be another problem, of course. If these things keep dodging, we're fucking dead. We have to kill this already. What is happening? This is already one of the hardest fights I've ever, ever had. I mean, should I be leveling these people up? What am I doing wrong here? I'm pretty sure I'm not fucking this up as much as it seems like I am. Right? I mean... I've done nothing surprising. I, I, I don't think that I've made a silly mistake. I don't think that bringing these level 3 people is that great an, uh, a problem here. Their formation is broken. And yet, Maintain they've taken the a shitload of damage already. Raikud is nearly, is more than halfway to stressing out on one fucking round. They are constantly targeting Raikuda as well, which is just impossible to deal with. There is nothing I can do about this. And that thing keeps fucking dodging. I'm already salty. Last episode, I was super happy because we were doing so well. It was one encounter that we had to, like one encounter in a room, and that was it. We got all the money and all the glory. Now all of a sudden, we can't hit for shit. What's going on? Uh, dodge this. These dodges are outrageous. How can we be this bad at accuracy? Like I know he's got high dodge. He's got fucking nine dodge. This is this is bollocks. Accuracy ninety five and it's got nine dodge and you still missed. Everything has missed so far. Which is just bullshit. And, power. and that's why we've done so badly against the Prophet so far. We cannot catch a break. We can't get a nice short journey. We can't find a single fucking situation where we don't have one encounter that completely ruins us. We need to camp now. And we're here. What the fuck? We didn't bring a key, so I'm not going to do anything here. But this... There's two battles in a row here, and they have to go perfectly. Well, there's just no point continuing. We might as well run away and try again. So it's got two more stress dealers. I can't cope with these stress dealers. Literally, it's not possible for me to cope with these. 
basically we have to bring Erasmus. Erasmus ruined the last. Um, I, I firmly believe it was Erasmus that completely destroyed the previous uh, episode. That just knocked everything for six. Right, I mean, <clears throat> now it's just damage. I can deal with damage. You can stab me as much as you fucking like. Just stop stressing me out so much. Oh my god. Every single fucking encounter has at least two things doing stress to one unit constantly. And the fact that it's focusing on Raikuda is just bullshit. I mean, surely that's randomized. That can't be intentional. Can it? I mean, I guess it could. See, that was a great fight, but we still took stress. Can we stop with the thing? There we go. We've got a ring. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I just want to de-stress though. <laughs> Please. And then we're going to have to do it all again. Please, no more stress dealers. For five minutes. And this is only one of them. And we are surprised. They are surprised. But they're probably going to fucking dodge. They always dodge. Mm-hmm. So now what do we do? You see, now we're fucked, so that's the trouble. Five to nine is not enough to make me feel happy about it. I mean, six to eleven is great, but we've only got a 69% chance to hit, which is shit. That's actually a higher chance to hit. And it did hit. So there is that. Let's see this, look. 64% chance to hit. Also, we need to do this, so... Whatever, Trevor. Now we do this. Resist it to stun. Fine, do that. I don't give a shit about that. You resisted the move, that's fine. Tiny bit of stress. Look at that. Just stop stressing out, Raikuda. It's pissing me off. Crit as much as you want. We've got Holmesy here. Of course, they all get to go in order now because... Excuse me, where's my repost? I used the wrong one. I should have used this one. That's fine. As long as it was my fault, I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't mind spreading out this damage so much, but still. I'd rather not. I'd rather this thing just stop taking wincy amounts of damage and pissing me off. Look at this, one fucking HP left. Why is there always one HP left on something? Bakuda has already stressed out and has become hopeless. So, I mean, we should quit the mission, right? What is the chance of this working now? And that's all because it was just focus, focus, focus. Massive amounts of stress in the first fucking thing. It's... <laughs> I don't feel like I did anything wrong. And yet it's all gone absolutely to shit. I've, the party that I've brought does not seem to me to be hugely, you know, anathemic to what I'm trying to do here. vis are the kill stuff. <laughs> you know, I need to kill the prophet. I've got things that can hit the back. I've got the weakening curse available here. Blah, 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 etc, etc. Everything is dodging. The ruins is the first mission. The first, um... Yeah, the first mission that you do is in the ruins. After the introduction and yet it is now the hardest fucking <laughs> it's the hardest one that there is yeah whatever you're gonna get it go yeah i mean do i want to do this yes fine homesy <laughs> i was worried there that we would actually end the round because I didn't want to, because then we wouldn't have been able to heal Raikuda for a massive heal, actually, which is really good. I mean, it, it's, it gives you some confidence that we've healed so well, but at the same time, all of a sudden, uh, Raikuda's hopeless. No, I want the other altar, the one that calms us down. Well, got a long way to go, fellows, so... For goodness sake. <laughs> Ancient traps lie in wait. 
Because Raccoon is going to stress everybody else out by chatting on about it. Littering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in At some point we can camp. Justify camping. Oh, so fucking many encounters. This is starting to great. I might have to leave just because I can't get to the fucking boss. And I don't know why I can't get to the boss. That's the thing. It's so... There's just such a huge barrier between the entrance and the exit. In, in the ruins, specifically. I just generally don't understand why it is like this. I've got two units on riposte. We will heal Holmesy herself, because Holmesy dying would be the worst thing right now, because I'm already a bit pissed off. This unit is bullshit, but this one has to go. Dodge. Whatever. N not go in the sense of have a turn. I mean go in the sense of fucking die, you absolute jeb end. Everyone gets heals. Ta-da! Actually went quite well. Good. Finally, we rolled well and actually hit. So now we only have one thing to worry about. Did we both get a riposte then? I don't know. Uh, maybe we do... I don't want to knock it back in case we can't reach it, so I guess we just crush. Gotta get there, man. 15 is a lot of damage. I just want to at least reach the boss without stressing out IRL. You go back there. Fine, whatever. Raikuda has still got riposte on, so if that thing attacks like it did before, just like that, it might even die. Yeah, it did. Which is fine, I suppose. It's done. Great. <laughs> what? As victories mount, uh, so too will resistance. <laughs> you can tell from my tone, I'm not the happiest of campers right now. I mean, Rakuda could end up with a fucking heart attack. Hands up who would be surprised, right? Let's put a torch on so that we're at least going into this with some preparation. It's maggots! These can also stress us out and uh, poison us and do all that horrible gross. But at least we've got some chance of doing some damage to them. Uh, not very much. <laughs> Chance or damage. Bust. Cool. I mean, we took a little bit of damage. That was fine. More like that, please. Nothing in here, which is nice. I'm thinking maybe we start... We camp now. I'd like to have gotten off scout just now, but it didn't happen. We're so close. I think we have to press... Press on. More traps, fine. Lead. Ambushed by Stamage. Bowel Invention. Bowel Invention? Hunger. That at least gives us a small amount of healing. In fact. There you go. Didn't torch enough. There's nothing here, good. As I'm going to camp here. Purchase. We're one, two, Fear we're three away. Lifted. Well, we're two away. That purpose is made clear. And we can possibly get something done. Uh, oh, someone's got gut worms, haven't they? Sorry? Bulimic? Why are we on... Oh! Wait, what? Is it one of these? Stress eater. Stress above 50? You dick. <laughs> you fucking dick. Uh, in that case, we'll just have a normal amount of food. Why did you... I don't know. Uh, good. First thing we do... Is... Make everyone better? Do stress. By five, it's not really good enough. I would like to de-stress Raikuda at least somewhat. 
I think we should do this. Give everyone a buff except for our tank, which is fine. Reduce Raikou Distress to some extent. Or not. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I mean, bugger off is definitely the sort of thing that you'd expect Raikou to say in this situation, but... <laughs> doesn't fill me full of that. Doesn't fill me full of confidence. Will you accept this? Yes. Risky, I know. But as long as we can avoid too much stress damage on Raikuda, we should be okay. Maybe this? Fuck. Fuck. This is. It's just bullshit that he took all the stress damage, right? In the first fucking round. Got up to like 50%, 57% at least. It was just nonsense. And we've got such a long way to go. This is such an unforgiving um, dungeon. It's, uh, okay. Uh, didn't die. Not, not my favourite. Die now? Um, this has been very unforgiving. We have had basically no opportunity to not die. Decimated. Because he's just thrown shit after shit at us for such a long time. So oh goodness. No traps. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Uh, sorry. I don't. <laughs> just you can't say no to using a torch. I'll just get someone else to do it. Ah, oh, this fight again. Surprised. Kill it. Wrong. Try again. Kill it. Must kill that. No other choice. You can't hit the back at all. Maybe we should have been using this more often. I don't even know if it works with uh, stress. There's no point because Riposte is activated here. It's got a high move resist, but we could hit this one. Oh, that doesn't move. This one moves. My mistake. I hate you. <laughs> it's going to be the problem because... What is this? Uh, hopeless, yeah. It's like nothing can go right. Sure. Don't mind that. 14 is a lot of stress for anybody to deal with. Repost. Lol. Happy with that, though. That needs to happen more often, just in general. You know, something goes right in such a classic way. Oh yeah, they of course all go first now. Stab this. Good. Do this again. A crit on yourself is fine, except we didn't need it, so... Good roll there. Uh, now we just keep hitting this, I suppose. Not very good amount of damage going on here, but point blank shot should be nice. And then if Holmesy can get a go before we kill it, that would be swell too. Not looking likely. I said looking. Not looking likely. We can always eat something if we feel a bit scared about it. We do have seven food left. No keys, so I'm not going to deal with that. Oh, there's a combat, but it's not a combat in the room. Because this is at least slightly more likely to not be horrible for us. It could be maggots, is what I'm saying. We are in the right order. Maggots. Maggots! Go on, my son. Don't you fucking dare. Sod it all to hell. Another abomination Good. cleansed from our land. They are surprised. We could do a lot of damage whilst they're surprised here. Hoping to sort of kill him. <laughs> if that's not too much of a, an ask. Maybe it is in this situation. Uh, we crushed this one. one Maybe we should have uh, retributioned it. Never mind. Be Perfect. Gone, Do that again. Not you. Did dodge it though, so I'm kind of happy. Dodge it. A crit. Ta da! I mean, the damage is okay, we can tank that to some extent. 
Not to a great extent, but to some extent. <clears throat> These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And there's nothing in... Shush you. It's just a torch. <laughs> nothing in this room. Are we ready? I mean, there's not a lot more we can do. We either are ready or we're not. So, I guess we eat some food. I'm gonna keep five because you've got above you've got so much stress that if we get a hunger pang on this uh road here, we'll be in trouble if we don't have five. So we need to have five. <laughs> in your face game! Let's watch it do it twice. In radiance, may we find victory. Of course, eating the food gives everyone a bit of HP anyway. Are we ready? No. I thought, you, you thought I was going to forget, didn't you? Hmm? 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 I nearly did. I genuinely nearly completely forgot about that. Uh, do we want any of these things on? I don't really need weird reconstruction, but maybe we do. I'm going to put this on rather than that, because we're not using that at all. But sacrificial stab when the boss does move, which is going to happen. We're going to kill at least one of the pews. When that happens, we'll be in a better position. We can't really switch these around because Holmesy doesn't have any other skills. You have got the right set of skills, you know, the right positions. Go! <laughs> Just fucking beat the shit out of it, for goodness sake. The man hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. This is fine. Marks is also fine. Do this! This is a fine position for you to be in. We'll do this. It's just a crit. Nice. So you're now doing... That was not the right one. <laughs> fine, whatever. Um, we will retribution against this. And we'll find out whether repost works against the uh, calamitous prognostication. That did, though. Very happy with that. You're stunned, which I'm not too happy with. Um, but we can at least keep people alive, which is good. I think we do a party heal and hope for some crits, or some high rolls at least. That did work. And don't forget, we've given um, Megistos here... 16 is okay. We've given Megistos here the recovery charm, so heals against them will be much better. So this is also fine. We can move forwards with this unit, which is... This is the one I want to do. A five! It's actually a decent amount of damage, considering it's just a debuff. So we've now got minus 32% damage, which is more than good enough. Uh, we can't really make good use of this, but I'm wondering whether we do this instead. Sorry, what are you saying? I fucking hate you. <laughs> I really do. We'll stun this then. Whatever. Just get in position. Screw it. No stun. No stun. Ah, worst timing. Fine. We've got less damage and we've got s no protection. Shit. Dodged. And it did repost, which is exactly what I wanted to see happen. Again, this is kind of okay. It's only one at a time. And I don't mean to tempt fate, but why? Right, keep doing that. What's your dodge normally? We don't know yet. We'll find out. Uh... Again, I think we just... You should get a go before he does. So, I think what we do now is... We set ourselves up with repost. Attack this front pew. I need to do some damage to this front pew, but it is yet to happen. Do this. I mean, I was hoping that Raikuda was not stunned, and then Raikuda would have done a point-blank shot to move backwards as necessary, but that didn't happen. Which is a bugger. But that's okay. We've reduced the amount of damage it's doing. And we're doing a lot of damage with these reposts as well. You have got some uh, damage over time. Another dodge is perfect. It means we don't have to worry about the amount of healing we're doing to Megistos there. So we need to protect Holmesy. That's going to be our best bet. You've got three stacks of weakening curse. I think we just keep this up, right? Maybe we don't. Carpentry. <laughs> nice.
What's your dodge now? 14. Um, I think we do that. Make sure we can hit it. And then... Divine Comfort, everybody. We could do some damage to it. Heal ourselves for 4 HP. 6 to 14 is not insignificant. And Megistos will be getting a go. I hope. <laughs> I mean, just do deep, do some damage. Get it closer to death. That's probably the most important thing right now. Fulminate is... They, yeah, we both did damage there. So if that happens again, you're fucking owned, mate. We do get a go, so we guard this unit. It's not stressed out, so that's fine. You do get a go. You get to point blank shot this. For 18 damage, which is fine. Then you get to drop that on them, which drops it on you, who dodges it. This is actually going really well, despite all my... Ooh. Despite all my issues earlier about um, how badly it started off, which still hold true. It was bullshit. Because Megistos has got such an amazing dodging ability, which I just don't understand. 20. It's not huge. And can tank a lot of damage at the same time. Fuck. <laughs> you do. You do. Fine. We'll get everyone to have some HP. Fulminate is whatever. Nearly dead. Do that again. I fucking dare you. So now we defend Holmesy again. God, failed. You can fail that? What? Sorry, what? Oh, I see. You fucking dick. No. Right, so hell with it. We're not taking any of the abuse. This went perfectly as far as I'm concerned. So long as he remains dead. I would have liked to have destroyed these pews on the way, but we didn't. I don't care. We're leaving. It's done. Into the mud. Spoilers, but we beat be him. Fucking, it's all over. Highwayman, 20% range and melee. Oh, range instead of melee. I see. We got a lot of stuff, not much money. But we got the boss done, which is the whole point. Uh, you've gained hemophilia somehow, and but that's really good. So we should do that ASAP. Uh, we'll not pray off flashlight. Good. Replace the yips, which is excellent. Uh, more stress damage versus unholy is a problem because it will, of course, synergize with the stress eating thing. So we, I want to actually think about doing that. A brigand raiding party yeah. is descending upon the hamlet with explosive fury a murderous intent. So I think this means that there is now a new place we can embark on over here at the hamlet. What is this? Short darkest kill one brigand wolf. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no. We do not have a... Uh, oh, maybe we do. Tim, D, Doug, and Miri. We've done that set before as well. And it was excellent. Very, very tempting. Let's see if we've got anyone in the state. We did fill up this roster, but we could always get rid of someone. Uh, no, not really. Well, <laughs> how many goes did that take us? fucking several and that is a big number but we've done it we are victorious we stand proud we have the belt victory upon our waists we can hold our heads high as we return to the hamlet going jesus fucking christ i hate the ruins but uh, thank you for watching and i hope you will join me in the next episode where we will probably try and take on that new mission but until then thanks for watching and i'll see you